Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Malaysia and the Philippines have always shared close and long-standing relations. Bound by our shared aspiration of progress, peace and prosperity, our two countries share many commonalities and strong people-to-people -people ties. To this day, we have faced many common challenges, but we have also achieved much more together, underpinned by shared interests and close cooperation across many areas. It is our fervent hope that the warm relationship will continue to blossom for the mutual benefits of our people and nations. Mutual efforts and understanding are vital to further elevate our close relations and good cooperation to new heights. This can be achieved through active engagement across at all levels. Regular exchanges of high-level visits among our leaders between officials of our countries will further contribute to the positive momentum in advancing our shared interests and addressing common challenges. Given our close proximity and active involvement in ASEAN, Malaysia regards the Philippines as an important partner in 2022. The Philippines was Malaysia's fifth largest trading partner in the region while Malaysia was the Philippines' fourth largest trading partner. It is our hope that Malaysia and the Philippines can expand their collaboration and partnership in the new and emerging areas such as agriculture, digital economy, and halal food industry. Shared peace and progress can only be achieved and maintained through stability and prosperity in the region and the world as a whole. Therefore, as founding members of ASEAN, Malaysia and the Philippines must continue to work closely in promoting the region's stability, security, and in making ASEAN a dy dynamic regional organization. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this visit holds a very special significance, which strengthens the ties between our two great countries and also celebrates the long and deep-rooted friendship between our families. Our families are now graciously watching us as leaders of the countries. Very special mention to us Excellency, the former First Lady, Madame Imelda Marcos, who has shaped an exceptional leader through her son and grandson. <laughs> As we gather here, I feel overwhelming to think of our friendship of many years. One such ch channel through which we have bonded is the sport of polo which better describe as polo diplomacy. <laughs> Touching a bit on polo diplomacy, I have fond memories of Manila. Through polo, my late father, Amahum Sultan Ahmad Shah, and the late Enrique Zobel, may God bless their souls initiated the Pahang Cup. Every year, my Royal Pahang team would compete with our Filipino rivals at the Manila Polo Club, followed with very nice evening cocktails to mingle with the guests. With my brother, Tengku Muda, and others in the team, would play against great players like none other Dato' Gregia Raneta, <laughs> Dato' Inigo Zobel, <laughs> Dato' Louis Castalejo, Ricky Abbott, 
Benji Toda, Nikki Hasinto, and many others, with Louis Ismail on the sideline. <laughs> of course, and our late father played polo with late Enrique Zobel. So I hope this polo diplomacy or polo legacy will continue with our children. Through spirited matches and shared passion, we have fostered camaraderie and understanding among our people. I am grateful for my dear friends in the Philippines, especially again, Dr. Inigo Zobel, Dr. Greg Araneta, Madame Irene Marcos, and Louis Castelho, among others, for their unwavering support in nurturing this connection. While we may have, while we may, we may have paused our polo matches for the time being, I'm optimistic that we will soon engage in a new endeavor together. Perhaps we can now embark on the greens and fairways of golf. <laughs> we, hold, we hold great hope that our sons, Prince Mohammed and Sandro, where are they? Sandro. Huh? Sandro. <laughs> Forge an even stronger bond through sports just like us once upon a time. I must also mention here that my brother, His Highness, Prince Abdul Rahman, or popularly known as Rahman in Manila those days, <laughs> is the Royal Ambassador of Pang, a pillar of strength, <laughs> who was able to maintain the relationship between our families throughout the years. Thank you, brother. He was still a bachelor back in the 1980s and 90s. As such, he was more free to travel between Kuala Lumpur and Manila. As for me, my path to Manila was short-lived <laughs> because I got married at an early age, comparing to my brother who had the best time in Manila. <laughs> so with your permission, Mr. President, I'd like to make a small request. I would like to start visiting the Philippines again, perhaps after January 2024, <laughs> for, for, for polo or golf events. But this time, of course, with my beloved wife, Queen Aziza, and my family. <laughs> In closing, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude, Mr. President, and to Madam Luis Araneta Marcos, for gracing us with your presence. May this visit mark a new chapter of cooperation and understanding between our countries and further strengthen the cherished friendship between our families. Together, we shall continue to build a brighter future for our people and the generations to come. Especially, we seek to celebrate our 60th, 60th anniversary of diplomatic relations next year. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, may we invite all present to join us in a toast to the continued good health and happiness of His Excellency President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. and Madame Luis Araneta Marcos, to the continued peace and prosperity of the Republic of the Philippines, and to the enduring friendship between our two countries and our families. With that, thank you and Mabuhai to the President. Please rise for the toast. To the President. Thank you very much. Uh, it, uh, it to His Majesty. Uh, King uh, Al Sultan Abdullah, Your Majesty uh, Queen Az Aziza, uh, the, of course, our good friend, uh, the, His Excellency, uh, the uh, Prime Minister, the Prime Minister Datu Seru Anwar Ibrahim, and uh, all of the distinguished guests who have come to join us at this uh, very familiar uh, gathering that we have had today. 
And uh, I say that because, and uh, on a very personal note, I must thank the King, His Majesty, and uh, PM Anwar, and all our Malaysian friends for the very warm welcome that we have received uh, upon coming to Kuala Lumpur. It has been a while since a um, Philippine president has uh, come to visit with you, and I am happy uh, to once again re-engage with all our friends in Malaysia uh, at every level. And uh, as, uh, as has been mentioned, the, we are now about to celebrate our 50th anniversary of formal diplomatic relations between our two countries. Uh, but that does not perfectly illustrate what the true relationship is between our two countries, as we have had exchanges, cultural, and uh, all other societies before there was a Philippines and before there was a Malaysia. Our two peoples were already uh, very much trading together and exchanging uh, elements of our culture together. And so we feel on this trip that it is a very much a uh, coming together once again of old friends and hopefully to make new allies and new friends as we continue down the road. I have been, I have always been of the belief that in terms of diplomacy, it is not uh, necessarily easy to forecast or to predict where the connections will be made between two countries. Uh, I can do, I, I, although I can say with uh, some, some confidence that it is only uh, between the Mal Malaysia and the Philippines that we have now invented polo diplomacy. <laughs> but I think that uh, whatever, whatever stars that we have had, whatever uh, uh, beginnings that we have made, uh, they all prove to be of importance to the continuing relationship between Malaysia and the Philippines. The uh, membership, our memberships together in ASEAN, for example, and of course also Bimpiaga has uh, continued to strengthen our relationship between the, our two countries. And as we now uh, come back and start to emerge from the difficult period in the last two, two and a half years of the pandemic, it is time for us to re-examine those relationships and re-strengthen those relationships. And that, for me, is the most important aspect of uh, this visit that I have made to Kuala Lumpur uh, and to Malaysia. I believe that it is a way for us to refocus our efforts together to mutual beneficially, mutually beneficial uh, effect for our two countries and to see how we can help one another as we face the post-pandemic future. It is, a, it, is a, uh, it is a very different world that we now face than we faced before the pandemic. And sometimes I hear that, it is, that we need to recover from the effects of the pandemic. And I see it in a very different way. I see that we must recreate ourselves and transform ourselves to enter and be competitive and uh, to be part of the new world order as it is happening and it is forming before us now. And Malaysia, as far as the Philippines is concerned, will play a very large part in that transformation. And that transformation is going to be strengthened and made more stable by these partnerships that we make with each other. And so it becomes more and more important for us that these partnerships that were fostered on a cultural level and on a people-to-people -people level now continue to be expanded and to, be gained, to, to gain stature in the way that we promote that relationship between our two countries. It is as important, not only, it is important not only to Malaysia, it is not only important to the Philippines, it is not only important to ASEAN, but it is important to the rest of the world. And that, we hope, is the part that we will play as partners, Malaysia and the Philippines, in the years to come. And to celebrate that hope and to celebrate that aspiration, may I invite you all to rise 
and to join me in a toast to to the continuing good health and continuing prosperity of His Majesty King Al Sultan Abdullah and Her Majesty Queen Aziza to the strengthening relationships of our two countries in the future and to greater and greater heights. Cheers. <laughs>